So it's always really important to remember that the customer is at the center of everything we do. Technology is important, innovation is important, but technology is ultimately a means to an end. So the benefits of technology, I think, are ultimately a global phenomenon, not a not a mature market versus emerging market phenomenon. It means you need to improve the customer experience. So it's really around simplicity. It's around ease of access, but it's also around other elements of your business model, particularly cost to serve. What we're seeing, though, is there's lots of great innovation coming from the U.S. and Europe, but increasingly there's a lot of innovation coming from Asia and Africa, particularly in the payments space and also in the platform and ecosystem space. Well, that really means having an enormous customer focus. Customers are at the centre of everything we do.、Uh, ultimately, as a business, we're not going to be successful unless we can align the interest of customers with our commercial interests, but ultimately also the interests of governments and regulators. In banking, we're a regulated industry. Regulators give us our licence to operate, and we have to make sure that we balance the interests of all stakeholders. I think at the moment, obviously, there's enormous. Focus on mobile. I think at the end of the day, the key is to make sure the customer experience is differentiated, simple, compelling, and easily accessible. Today, the device that most people use is increasingly mobile. Initially, feature phones, increasingly smartphones, and that's the window that people use to access customer experiences through apps. But that's going to evolve. If you go back over the last ten years, the mobile wasn't the device. In the future, it could be virtual reality. It could be a whole bunch of different devices. As a business, what you want to focus on is the customer experience and being able to tailor that customer experience through any device that the customer wants to engage with. At the moment, there's enormous focus. In business around fintech, a lot of people are investing dollars into new businesses in the development of customer propositions. But I think, as a business, if you really want to be successful over the medium term, you've got to look at your entire business model. That is around technology. That's around what are your customer propositions? How are they accessible across any medium? That is new technologies, but that's also traditional distribution channels. It's about what capabilities you're building, but can you partner with other organisations that enhance your access to customers? What we're seeing is the emergence of horizontal customer platforms from a business model historically across all industries, which were vertically integrated. Now, often we, as an organisation, as a bank, can build that customer platform, but we increasingly have to be open to engaging into other people's customer platforms, and they could be e-commerce sites, they could be traditional retailers, utility companies, other people who aggregate customers. The last element, though, is you know clearly your ability to drive digital innovation can enhance the access you have to customers, so the quantity of customers. But the other element of technology is it can drive productivity. So it can simplify processes, it can cut out redundancy, it can de-risk the business model. And so, to really be successful, as well as enhancing the customer proposition, successful companies have to look at their whole value chain and look at how they can systematically reduce their cost to serve, not by one or two or three percent, but step change: thirty, forty, fifty percent. There are two aspects to this. One is, as a regulated bank in an industry where regulators give us our license to operate, they are really critical stakeholders for us. And you know, as much as we focus on customers and also our shareholders and our governance committees, regulators are really important stakeholders.